take this opportunity to strongly condemn the invasion by some hooligans who destroyed the Kenyatta's family private farm at Kamakis in, North, in Northlands within Kiambu County. We also condemn those hooligans who invaded and damaged part of East African Spectre Company associated with Honorable Raila Odinga's family where they <coughs> belted the premises with stones and damaged some property. These acts are uncalled for and must not be allowed to thrive in any part of this great nation. Alongside this, we also condemn in the strongest manner possible the burning of the PCA church and a mosque in Kibra. We as church leaders in the nation view this as an attempt in creating anarchy and unnecessary tension in the country. The hooligans who are taking advantage of a peaceful demonstration should not be allowed as they breach peace and tranquility because their aim is to loot and damage properties of hard-working fellow Kenyans. In Kisumu, we want to condemn hooligans who harassed women and other innocent Kenyans during the peaceful protest. This is also uncalled for and uh, no one should be blocked from accessing their places of work simply because the hooligans illegally blocked the roads during the peaceful demonstration. Demonstrations should be peaceful and no one should interfere with, the, with fellow citizens in any way. The Bible says, which has just been quoted there, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, come and let us reason. There must be a dialogue. The African chairman also appealed to the two leaders. And as of now, there is no need for us to look for the international people to come and help us in Kenya now. We can do it ourselves. The president must know that the nation belongs to all of us. As far as leadership is concerned, we who are in the clergy are also part of the leadership. When the Catholic bishops appealed to them to have dialogue, and some of them were so arrogant, arrogance will take us nowhere. Let's calm down and have dialogue. That is the only way in which we are going to save our nation. Others, if we don't have that, then we shall not have a nation called Kenya.